masculine and feminine masculine nouns are words for men boys and male animals masculine nouns belong to the male gender feminine nouns are words for women girls and female animals feminine nouns belong to the female gender mm, masculine nouns mean male are male animals we use masculine noun for uh, men boys and male animals while feminine nouns uh, is used for women girls and female animals now examples of masculine and feminine noun rooster hen boy girl waiter waitress father mother uncle aunt line lioness man woman actor actress gentleman lady wizard witch king queen prince princess brother sister nephew niece horse mare so these are masculine noun boy waiter father uncle rooster lion man actor gentleman wizard king prince brother nephew and horse these are masculine noun and their feminine are uh, hen girl waitress mother aunt lioness woman actress lady witch queen princess sister niece and mayor so masculine noun are used for man boy and male animals and feminine nouns are used for girls women and female animals here are some masculine and feminine nouns for male and female animals chicken rooster and hen cattle bull and cow deer book and dog duck drake and duck sheep ram and ewe these are animals chicken cattle deer duck and sheep and these are its feminine and masculine noun rooster and hen now here these are animal fox goose horse lion and these are their masculine and feminine nouns fox vexin gander goose salian mare lion lioness so animals are chicken cattle deer duck sheep fox goose horse and lion these are animals and its masculine and feminine are rooster chicken masculine is rooster and its feminine is hen cattle is animal so for masculine for its masculine is bull and feminine is cow all these are examples of uh, masculine and feminine noun for animals nouns that end in e s s and r e s s upon belong to the feminine noun those nouns that end in e s s r r e s s so that uh, noun will be feminine noun feminine gender for example actress lioness princess tigress waitress stewardess 
a noun that ends in e double s or r e double s that will be feminine noun many nouns are used for both males and females we call these nouns common gender nouns many nouns are used for both for male as well as for female so such uh, nouns are called common gender examples are doctor dancer scientist hairdresser accountant parent artist manager designer people engineer singer lawyer and teacher these nouns are used for both for male as well as for female next is uh, words for things uh, that are neither male nor female are called neuter nouns noun that is neither male nor female is called neuter nouns for example bench it is neither male nor female mirror fire leaf waterfall ball forest building broom cake computer card floor rock sky socks wind playground these are neuter noun because these are neither male nor female so our noun that is neither male nor female is called neuter nouns next is uh, filling fill in each blank with a suitable masculine or feminine noun number one the host and the hostess welcomed their guest host is uh, masculine its feminine is a hostess Number two, steward and stewardess look after the passengers on the plane. This is masculine, this is feminine. Number three, my uncle and aunt live in Jalan. Uncle is masculine, aunt is feminine. Number four, the prince was eight and the princess was five. So, prince is uh, masculine, princess is feminine. And the last one is ladies and gents welcome to our party so ladies is uh, feminine gents is masculine so masculine and feminine nouns uh, i hope you understand masculine nouns are used for men boys and male animals while feminine nouns are used for women girls and female animals a noun that ends in e double s or r e double s belong to feminine gender for example actress linus princess tigress so such words are called feminine gender if a word ends in e double s or r e double s next is uh, words that are neither male nor female these are called neutral nouns for example book mobile pen door such words are neither male nor female so for these words we use neutral nouns i hope you understand thanks for watching